Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 67 in chapter 7. In this chapter, we talk about work and energy. In this problem, we can see we have a train. The train is moving at a constant speed. We call it V1 to the ground, right? And a person on the train holds a ball of mass M, so the mass of the ball is given. And this object moves at the velocity v2 at the same direction as v1. Now we need to calculate the change in kinetic energy. The first one we consider the Rs as reference point, reference frame. So for first one, um, we need to consider the change of kinetic energy. That means we need to find the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy right, in the Rs frame of reference. If we consider the Rs as the reference point, the initial velocity is V1 because the ball is there and this person on the train. So it just have the same speed as the train. Do you agree? So initial velocity is V1. And then if we consider finally it reaches to zero, it is tell us the the ball has the speed V2 relatively to the train. So V2 is relatively to V1. So what is the final velocity? We consider the relative velocity we learned in previous chapters, right? We must think the velocity is a ball to the earth equals the velocity of ball to the train plus velocity train to the earth. And this is the vector addition. And you can see this is two vector. This V1 is the velocity of ball uh, train to the earth. And the V2 is the velocity of ball to the train, agree? And both of them are the same direction to the right. So add these two vectors together, the final velocity for this ball is V1 plus V2 is the velocity of ball to the earth, agree? Yes. Then you can say you, you know initial velocity, you know the final velocity and you know the mass, so very easily you can find the change of kinetic energy. We use the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy, and it looks like this equation, agree? The second one, we take the uh, train as the reference point. So we consider the train as the reference point. The initial velocity is zero, because we can, this train just, this person just holds the ball on the train, so the, it is stationary uh, relatively to the train, agree? So initial velocity is zero, and finally this ball reaches to the velocity v2 relative, relative to the train, so v2 to the train, so final velocity is v2. In this case, we can find the change of kinetic energy. I consider the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy, and in this one, we find it's one half mv2 squared. The third question asks you to find the network done on each cases. So for first cases, we consider the Rs as the reference uh, frame. So in this one, the change of the kinetic energy equals the network done on this object, agree? So the work done on the object in the Rs frame is just this equation, agree? And we can simplify this function and get it look like this one. And also for the train, for the train uh, reference frame, we can consider the network done on this object equals the change of the kinetic energy. It is just a one half mv2 squared. Now, do you find something interesting? Yes. We can say this two down to equal. Why? Can you explain it? You can say this two function down to equal. What happens? It at the same time, same force. Why that happen? So in there, we need to consider the distance it covered, right? So for the, let's see, if we just uh, draw a picture for this uh, uh, situation. The first one, we can see the train just move at the V1, V1. So the tr train keep moving, right? And this is initial, this is a final. Agree? And then, if we just consider uh, the train's re reference, the d 
distance it covered just as the length of the train, just as this one. Do you agree? Yes. So the work done the train is the force times this d. However, if we consider R as a reference point, we consider the initial is there, and finally this ball just uh, comes to zero. Agree? Because we consider R as a reference point. Initial it is there, finally it is zero. So in this case, the work done on this object FD. This D becomes this blue one, it's much larger than the red one. So the work done, if we consider the Earth's reference frame, it is larger. And up in this case, there is more specific answers. Thank you.